Hi, I'm Carl Schilling, and I'm the founder and CEO of the Advocacy Network. And uh, I'm speaking to you today as an agent, uh, pretty much probably an insurance agent. Let me share with you as we go along, this is an interactive video. What I've done is I've put a white paper here. You'll see it pop up, says white paper, and that's going to be the three golden rules of financial independence. So I want to talk to you today real briefly about the power of being a financial concierge and why you should be a financial concierge in anything you do. Now, before we get started on that, remember the interactivity in this video, you're going to see the white paper. There'll be a, a little uh, email. You can email me direct if you pop on that button. And then a little phone is going to come up here. It's going to probably be on this side of the screen by my hand. Little phone. When that phone pops up, you dial your own number in there, area code plus your number. You dial your full number in and you will live connect to me so we can speak. So recently I wrote an article, and that's what I want to talk to you about today real briefly to give you a feel for what it is we do in our inner circle with our financial concierges. Just a little sample. But recently I wrote an article on LinkedIn that was called, um, you know, Shame or Success, The Choice is Yours. Now I want to share with you real quickly, I'm in a lot of groups uh, across the social media realm, and you'll see me there, a lot of articles. You'll probably see me make replies. And I listen to agents, I see what they talk about, I see what they go on about every single day. And um, I want you to realize a couple of things in our industry, just so you understand this, okay? The ceiling at the lowest 10% of the earners in our industry, that 10%, that lowest 10%, their ceiling, the most they earn is $24,000 a year. That's their ceiling, so zero to 24. The top 10%, the highest level, their floor, is $128,000 a year, okay? So the interesting thing there is their floor is 128, so it goes much higher. Now, in between those 10%, okay, the other 80% in between, they on the median average earn $48,000 a year, okay? So that's the median across the board. And most of that's coming from the highest earners, you know, building into that average. So really what you're looking at is probably people earning on a real true average about $30,000 a year. Now, you could be a McDonald's manager and earn 36, 37, 38,000 a year. Of course, you'd work about, you know, 50 hours a week. But it's still, there are a lot better ways to earn $30,000 a year than to go through the slings and arrows and difficulty of our career. So if you're not earning six figures in our career, it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it, to be in this career? And quite frankly, anyone who puts their mind to it could be earning six figures in this career. So this is why people don't. So let's go to that, okay? This is where the shame or uh, the success comes in. Here's the problem. Too many insurance agents are not taught and they don't understand. I, 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 I value that most here, most listening to me, took a LIMRA at one point in time. Remember the LIMRA, the LIMRA profile? If you never went through a career agency cycle, you probably didn't take a LIMRA. And if you just went independent, got an insurance license, and just independently went with a company, you probably never had to take a LIMRA. But the LIMRA profile was built for two things. It was looking for strong ego and ego strength, okay? Two di totally different concepts. But it was looking for that because it was looking for people who weren't already biased by the negative perception of life insurance. See, life insurance has had a negative perception. I've been around over 40 years. I was trained by people who were around 40 years when I first started. And so basically, that's 80 years of experience. And let me tell you something that hasn't changed in all that time. One thing that's never changed is the perception of life insurance. People do not want life insurance. Maybe you've learned this by now. Maybe you haven't. I know people uh, in this industry who are 10 years in the industry still haven't figured out that people don't want life insurance and keep doing the same old thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. Look, here's the deal. People don't want life insurance. So therefore you have to do two things. One, you have to, uh, open a door with a relationship on something people do want or interested in and then cross sell life insurance. Cause it's a very, it's a very sophisticated conversation to be an advocate to help somebody with their life insurance. It's not something that strangers do with one another. They don't want to talk about death. They don't want to talk about life insurance. They don't want to talk about those things. But you build a relationship and you can make that conversation as an advocate. But you have to cross-sell into that deal. So here's where the shame comes in. When I first started, 
they gave me a Project 100. Now, nobody told me what the Project 100 was all about. They just told me, get a, you know, put all your friends, family, all the people you know, put it on a piece of paper, and those are the people we're going to go out to. Now, I, like everybody else, came up with the same initial bias that I felt like, oh, I'm not going to bother my family, my friends, and all these people. I'm not going to aggravate them. You know, I'm too ashamed to do that. Okay? So that starts out with a, with a very bad premise to begin with. And all agents go through this because they all believe, no, that's not the way to go. Now, if you follow The Referral of a Lifetime, great book, by the way. Get that book, Referral of a Lifetime, Tim Templeton. But here's the deal. Everybody knows 250 people. The most important part of that is not the 250 they know, but the 250, I'm sorry, the 250 you know, but the 250 they know. So therefore, if we get crossovers and say that, hey, I, you know some of the same people I know in my 250, so... Let's just say you know 100 that I don't know, and uh, 250 times 100 is 25,000 people. That's 25,000 people to share a story about financial independence with and help people become and attain financial independence. 25,000 people. You don't have to pay for them. You don't have to do anything other than know people who know people and discuss what it is that you should be proud of. You should be proud that I uh, represent life insurance and that I can help your family, you know, in the greatest time of financial need they'll ever have. I can help you retire with tax-free income. I can help you keep your business and succeed, succeed your business onto somebody else. I can make sure that the, your business is taken care of if you're not here to take care of it and your family gets the benefits from your business. I'm here to create a tax-free estate for you. Okay? Now, the niche to that is to find another way in the door, which we found several, to talk to people about something totally disconnected, but financial, and then connect the dots over to the life insurance. And that's what we do. That's what we do here in the inner circle. That's what we do with the advocacy network. That's what we're all about as you being a financial concierge, just teaching you how to cross sell tons of insurance because you're not trying to fight with people and give them something they don't want. You're fighting a battle upstream. The reason you're frustrated, the reason you're dissatisfied, the reason you're discouraged is because you're fighting upstream because you're in an industry that's teaching you techniques from 1940, 1950, 1960, maybe 1970 if you're lucky, and they're doing the same thing over and over. And then the new wave is that people are trying to get you to buy leads from them, so they're making billions of dollars on your back selling you people who are strangers anyway. When it comes to leads, think about this, folks, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close. I'm going to close with this. Think about how silly it is. If I made a cold call to someone I don't know, I'd be calling a stranger. Would we all agree on that? Okay. I don't know. Now, I pay $45 to get a name and a phone number to call someone I don't know. Is it the same call? Ask yourself, is it the same call? Of course it is. Except the only difference now is that I paid $45 to make that call. It's the same deal. A stranger is a stranger. It's not a relationship yet. That's what you're looking for. So your job is to find relationships, build relationships. 80% of your efforts every single day need to be in finding people you can help. 20% of your effort is in presenting solutions to those people and then following up. 80% of your money will be made from 20% of your effort. If you're spending 20% of your time trying to find relationships and 80% of your time making presentations, I don't know to who, you're going to get 20% of your income you're only going to, that's why you're only going to earn 20, 30 grand. If you want to earn a hundred grand, you've got to use the 80, 20 principle properly. We're in a prospecting career, but it's a beautiful thing. As a financial concierge, the only thing you're telling people is so simple. It's ridiculous. As a financial concierge, I help people attain financial independence. Are you interested? Would it make sense for us to talk about more? And then to follow up with people say, yeah, you know, say, look, it's different for everybody. I can't give you any pat answers. Everybody's circumstance is different. Everybody's in a different uh, stage of life. Everybody's got a different financial literacy 
uh, level. Everybody's got a different economic situation. It's all different. So I need to kind of get a good picture of yours. And then I can work together with you to help you attain financial independence. Wouldn't that be valuable? That's it. That's all I got. So I'm just telling you, if you want to really narrow this down, if you really want to be successful, we help people triple, quadruple, 10 times their income. We don't sell leads. We're not making our money selling leads. Yeah. Do I get paid for coaching and training and development? Absolutely. Absolutely. No shame in that whatsoever. I help people uh, with cases. I do case designs for them. I do all kinds of stuff behind the scenes. The bottom line is our organization is about building financial concierges. If you want to become a financial concierge, you want to triple, quadruple, 10 times your income, you want to get to that low level and move up. If you want to get to that ceiling, be six figures, then you need to call me. The phone's going to come up. Call me. Let's get started. It's very reasonable. You'd be surprised uh, about what we do and how we do it. And hopefully this has opened your eyes a little. Okay. So have a wonderful day. Give me a holler. Let's get started as soon as possible. And I look forward to helping you help other people attain financial independence.